moving on, moving on, moving on. Quickly wanted to mention um it has the other day was actually um Matteo Blasi. How's that how you pronounce his name? Matteo Matthew Matthew Blasi's debut at 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 Bottega Veneta the other day. Um during Milan Fashion Week. I thought you surprised if Milan Fashion Week. I thought they would debut it at Paris Fashion Week. I don't know why it's Milan. Is Milan maybe the more businessy side of things get done? I don't know. Someone let me know in the comments why it was at Milan and why it was not at Paris. Um, it might be something just plain and simple. You know, it's a it's an Italian based brand. Maybe that may be the reason why. I don't know. But if we could understand why it's at Milan and not at Paris, Paris being obviously the kind of the Champions League or flipping fashion when it comes to the best designers showing at the time. Um, someone let me know. I'll be very, 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 very much appreciated. But anyway, the show happened the other day and i was really impressed by it number one the set was great i thought the soundtrack was the soundtrack was phenomenal let's just say that the soundtrack was really really good um i've seen a few shows actually this is concluded where they had two angles usually whenever they're filming a fashion show they'll have like the main angle where you know the models kind of walking towards the camera maybe a couple of going on top but they had an angle on this show of the models walking where you saw the side profile which you don't usually see often because obviously most fashion shows you just get the classic sort of front on profile and a lot of i find a lot of kind of the real kind of wow bits in kind of fashion especially when it comes to like runway stuff is usually found in the shapes of stuff especially if you were watching it on the screen you can't obviously tell quality as supposedly this first look um this pair the first look that came down the runway was like a white uh a white vest top with some blue jeans right classic kind of style and supposedly these blue jeans aren't actually jeans they're leather but obviously when you're watching a show on your laptop on your phone it's impossible to tell what the materials are what it feels like blah blah but i do feel like sometimes if they were able just to give you the idea the the angle on the side to see the shapes it really kind of kind of let you see the the, the collection in a whole different way because usually i found especially when it comes to stuff like you know let's for instance like one of my favorite brands at the moment balenciaga um designed by them not even vetmo right the old stuff a lot of the really great amazing thing about that stuff was when you put it on the shape of it how it was cut it kind of you know it felt right you know the kind of shape it was a bump balloon fit it popped out here cropped there but you miss those deals if you just see the front you know you just see it flat on you kind of missed how the shape is especially because a lot of designers have really clever shapes how they cut things do you know what i mean rick owens is a good example of that margella does really good cuts and stuff like so i was happy to see those kind of weird angles on the side but yeah um get into the collection itself let's actually view the collection here on the slideshow I thought it was a good debut. I'm not going to lie. A lot of looks, 70 looks. Maybe if I was being super critical, I'd say maybe too many looks for a debut collection under a new designer or under a new creative director's um, tutelage. Maybe kind of, you know, pare it down a bit. But of course, you want to basically, you know, stamp your... Um, you want to basically put your, 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 your flag in the ground in some way, shape or form and offer up as many... Um, iterations or examples of what your vision is for the brand going forward and one thing we definitely saw was the Bottega Veneta green basically disappeared I don't think I saw one iteration maybe a couple of bits here and there but for the most part the Bottega Veneta green was gone um I didn't see much um what did what did Brian Boy say I didn't see a lot of pandering to blacks as he likes to say um I saw a very kind of diverse cast but nothing too overly heavy-handed um even the front row everything was really tastefully done i think for the most part it wasn't slapstick you know what i mean they didn't just slap fucking um you know jay huss in the middle of the runway just to kind of appease the blacks and whatnot it was just like a standard kind of runway i like that um the, the and again i thought the casting was really well done without kind of standing out that they've kind of taking kind of um quotas and whatnot <laughs> um and what else is it oh and also overall in terms of the options available in terms of the quality and whatever is available i think i mentioned it the other day on twitter it was very much like the old bottega under daniel lee but it was very much new bottega right if that makes sense which makes me believe that maybe this matteo blasi guy who you know whenever when it was announced that daniel lee was going to get fired or left whatever happened when he you know when he referred to um somebody in the meeting as a uh, you know the n-word uh or as joe rogan likes to say Niggas. right yeah um when that was when that was made known i do remember a lot of fashion insiders who i follow on 
you know, high fashion Twitter and whatnot, they were really excited that Matteo Blasi might be taking over. Because I guess, you know, if you're more plugged in than I am behind the scenes and with who works where, because, you know, I think I know a lot about fashion in terms of front facing, in terms of what everyone sees, but in terms of the intricacies of who works where and who's a design assistant there, who's an accessory designer there, I don't really know much about that stuff. But a lot of the people I follow on Twitter do. And they were really excited when Matteo Blasi's name was being floated as a designer. So maybe it was always known amongst the in the know people that Matteo Blasi was actually the guy responsible for a lot of the kind of greatest hits from Balenci from sorry from Bottega Veneta during Daniel Lee's tutelage. I think someone mentioned on my Twitter that he might have been responsible for that really nice sort of like patterned. I don't sure if it's like even knitted or quilted or crochet whatever it is that really nice print that i think skeptical wore as well it's like an all-in-one suit it comes like in a jacket and trousers he was responsible for that really nice blue that happened there um maybe someone mentioned the lug boot he might be responsible for but again who knows but it did make me wonder that maybe the daniel lee kind of influence and stuff was a little bit overinflated and i do remember somebody else mentioning too i forgot it was or some lady I don't know who the lady was. Some lady, I think, mentioned when Daniel Lee was kind of getting fired or on the way to go or did go that, you know, the actual nice guy there who worked there was actual Matteo and Daniel Lee maybe had let the kind of fame get to his head a little bit and was not the nicest guy behind the scenes. That doesn't really matter. But in terms of the quality of the garments, this looks way more familiar to me. This looks way more similar to Daniel Lee's first collection than Daniel Lee's last collection looked. You know what I mean? Like that first first collection that dropped that was fire do you remember that first collection like it looked like flipping gladiatorial wear do you know what i mean it was really a real big statement like he came out he came out of the blocks fast on that one let me see if i can get it up on here i'll show you it was like outside somewhere where was it is that the one there that's the one yeah this one for 2019 that okay maybe the first one was this pre fall 2019 so daniel lee maybe have started there but i remember this was the first time that i remember noticing Bottega Veneta under daniel lee's tutelage right and for noticing them i think okay cool there's so many things in this collection that i would instantly buy and i really got a lot of this early first collection vibes from the new um what you call it for 2020 collection not sure if you guys can follow or make this make sense i don't know hopefully it does but yeah this first collection that daniel lee did or the one that i noticed first you know it looks very very similar to what not very similar but in terms of the feel the aesthetic sort of it kind of feels very similar to what we saw can yeah some of these looks are fucking phenomenal not sure if a lot of this stuff actually made it to store i'm not really too sure to be honest but this was really really good really good man for winter 2019 race right away it, and i think the new collection kind of had a lot of that kind of similar vibe to it it really did for me personally anyway loads of great shapes loads of good colors again no really you know a real kind of reduction of that particular net and bottle green or pine green whatever that green color is um a lot of navies a lot of blacks yeah that's the second angle that i said looks great you get a really good um view on all these great little pieces you get the cut of the sleeve on that you know the way the cut the jacket is on there the the the, the, the pant length you got these high heel mary janes like it looks so much better by this angle, right? Do you know what I mean? Like it actually comes alive that entire look. <laughs> Again, the same things happen there, same thing kinda happens there. It looks like they've got like an an update on the lug boot. Not sure if it's the same. It looks kind of thinner to me. You know what it looks like? It looks a little bit shit. The boot anyway, because it reminds me kind of similar to when but uh Balenciaga stopped making the the flipping um triple s shoe in italy and started making it in china and the quality diminished somewhat a little bit or the little bit of the punchiness went out of it this kind of looks similar i'm not sure if it's been thinned out a bit on the sole but it looks a tiny bit thinner maybe it's maybe it's just my eyes i'm not really too sure but yeah really great looks man look, look at these little fluffy heel joints super super good and I'm, I think I over, I, I quickly checked in um, to a show studio panel discussion where they're talking about this stuff. And I don't understand, I think maybe, maybe because I'm, I don't know, 
I'm not plugged in too much, but I always find it interesting and weird how like fashion insiders can't necessarily see stuff from a consumer point of view at all. I think a few of them were like saying, oh, there's not a lot of stuff in this collection that is immediately kind of like jumps out at you as kind of like um, something buyers will be all over or like consumers of life when it comes to the shop. It's like there's loads of things in here that people would buy that. that Those bags that slinged over the shoulder would definitely be something I'm seeing a lot of people definitely buying. The boots are going to be an easy buy. These boots with the flipping fishnet type things all over them are going to be an easy buy there's so many things here that are going to be like this skirt you're going to see plenty of editors wearing this in the next couple of seasons for street star picks here and there let's not you know look at those heels even have tread on the bottom of the hood here like there's plenty of stuff on this collection that is instantly going to be um snapped up by people they're going to want that bag the boots come on there's so many things here but that panel discussion or that, that panel on the show studio just said no nah, there's not a lot of stuff here that's um, jumping out in terms of being buyable or like stuff that people would be hyped on. But I think there's many, many, many things here. But again, as a, as a debut, I was a big fan of it. Um, I loved everything about it personally. There's a couple of looks that were a bit dodge that I wasn't really too keen on. I think one of the, I think is a dress with like a jumper tied around the waist was a bit weird in terms of styling. But, you know, as a first introduction back to the scene, under his yeah, this is the one. This kind of look 43 with the jumper around the waist. I don't know what that's about. That's a bit of a weird one. But I guess over time, you'll find his voice again. Maybe, you know, we'll see a lot in some of the editorials and whatnot and campaign pictures. Um, maybe he'll kind of run through a couple of stylists first and, you know, until he finds his match. But overall, I like it, man. I think there's a lot of great stuff in here. Like that coat, like, come on, man. That coat's got a bit Ana De La Rosa all over it, bro. Come on. This is going to be super popular. Yeah, for sure. I see a lot of people. Yeah, this is this styling tip with the jumper around the waist of the dress is like, what is this? Someone tell me, please. What is that? Um, yeah, loads of good stuff in the collection. I loved it. I thought it was a really great debut. <clears throat> Interesting also that there's been little to no mention since um the bombshell revelation that that guy made about um daniel lee allegedly saying the n-word at a meeting which kind of caused him to lose his job allegedly no real development on that or insight i guess we'll never really find out really and it would just be one of those things that we kind of just you know it's like um we're never we're never going to find out why flipping um anna de la russo and what's her name and uh kareem roy no kareem roy and um emmanuel alt fell out we'll never know why that original vogue paris team fell out the original dream team We'll never find out about that. So same thing maybe happens with um with this uh particular net thing. But yeah, some greens here and there, do you know what I mean? But still still the classic bottle green. But yeah, it gives me a lot of the early vibes. But yeah, big up Daniel Lee. <coughs> sorry, big sorry. <coughs> big up Mateo Blasi. Sorry, my voice, man. Fucking no, I'm hay fever. Big up him. Um great debut collection. I think um I'm eager to see more stuff. I'm eager to see what he does with video, what he does with again photography, what stylus he picks. Um I'm eager to see who he picks as the muse, who's gonna be wearing it head to toe nowadays, how it's gonna be spoken about, presented in the store. And loads of really interesting things are gonna be um kind of, you know, are in the pipeline in the future that are going to maybe have a really big impact on how the brand is perceived and how it eventually does in the store. But I think Daniel Lee did enough good work in the beginning or they did enough good work in the beginning to have a, it be cemented with the cool kids. So they'll have a bit of grace. So even if the cool kids don't like it, <coughs> they'll still give them a couple of collections or him to get it right. And then when Mateo gets his feet, you know, he's feet under the table and he kind of gets settled he'll be fine and then i think people will be back into it uh, but i think it's got enough core cool points to survive so far really despite people being maybe a bit lukewarm to the collection but i liked it man i really really did like it i thought it was i thought it was a really good debut um like again i'm really image really curious to see what the campaigns end up looking like let's see what there's a quote here from him precisely about the collection he says uh, this question is basically a journey so the idea is to bring back energy and silhouette that really express motion because Bottega is a big company so you go somewhere you don't stay home this question basically is a journey there's many characters they all have places to go they feel quite free yep I, I got that from that collection I'm not gonna lie the study of pictures of the duh. what else have a quote you say here level of success been da -da -da, up to the new kind of bank okay cool then nothing else he said there's a quote from him but yeah i liked it man i thought it was a really good collection i'm not going to lie i really really liked it it's crazy isn't it that first look is not even fucking jeans it's leather mad isn't it mad 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 but yeah big up him 